Um, I'm going to show you one other way to do it. If you don't want to make a PDF, you can actually do tiling straight from InDesign. And you would go to Print, Command P, or Control P on a PC. And I'm going to go and choose the phaser. And I want here, I'm able to choose my paper size. So my page setup, I'm actually able to do that here. So I can hit tabloid. I want the page position, it do, it's going to change. I can put it centered because that's normally what I like. But I'm going to hit tile. It's going to give me an inch and a half overlap. Well, I, again, think that's too much. So just an inch is all I need. I do need the marks and bleeds. So I prefer these these things. You can also add color bars if you want. It doesn't take anything away. But if you go back, you'll notice on my um, page position, it's it's gone. I don't have centered anymore. But I have four pages. It's going to be an inch overlap. And that's how you do it. And then you would hit print and it would print. Because I have my paper size selected correctly. I have done my marks and bleeds. I have told it to use document bleed settings. All those are ready. You hit print and you have four pieces of paper that are tiled. Those are two ways to do it. One in InDesign, straight from InDesign, and one from an Adobe PDF.